regardless of how good the scanner you have or how high quality is the image you're trying to print and even how amazing your printer might be trying to reproduce video game covers manuals and labels will never work properly and here's why When we talk about digital images, there are basically two types of images you can get, bitmap files and vectors. Bitmap files are your everyday images, PNG, JPG, GIF files and so on. The ones you see every day on the internet and most kinds of drawings and digital photographs. In short, any images that are made of pixels. Vectors, on the other hand, are images made of mathematical algorithms, so basically images made of math. They are those images with solid colors often used in logos, some illustrations, and in a way, text. So vectors kind of work like this. There's an algorithm that says a line is going to start on position X and end on position Y, with any thickness and color you choose, and so on. You can fill it with a color, you can add curves, all that is done by using those algorithms. There are vector drawing programs that do all that calculations for you. While all you need to do is drag and drop lines, add and remove colors and shapes, the result is that you will end up with an image made of vectors. Since they're not pixels, you can increase and decrease size as much as you want and not lose any quality, because when you do that, all the program needs to do is adjust the calculations it has made before. Bitmap files, on the other hand, are images made of pixels, each one with a different color. So, from the start, you have to say what the size of the image will be. Let's say you took a screenshot that is in full HD, so 1920 by 1080 pixels. When you took the screenshot, basically what happened is that the computer memorized what color each pixel was and just transported that information for whatever program you were using. When you take a picture using a digital camera, it's basically the same thing, but in the end it will only capture as many pixels as it possibly can there is usually a size limitation, which is why they keep on coming up with newer cameras with more megapixels. They're just trying to capture as many pixels as possible. It doesn't know exactly what is the image you're making. By being just a bunch of tiny squares next to each other, it's impossible to make smooth curves and angled lines like you would with vectors. Instead, the programs trick you by using lighter and darker variations of the same color to make you believe it's actually round, but if you zoom in, it really isn't. In the end, each pixel just cares about its own color and that's it. So when you try to increase the size of that kind of image, you're basically adding more pixels in between the existing ones. And since the programs don't really know what to do because they don't know what the picture is, they just try to fill in the gaps with whatever they see fit. Usually, they just try to make a smooth transition between the two pixels that existed there before, and the result is that blurry and blocky image you get. That is why people say that you can never increase the size of a bitmap file, only decrease it. Because when you increase it, you're basically adding pixels that never existed there before. When printing, vectors will always retain the best quality, because they are solid shapes with solid colors, while bitmap files will be interpreted as a bunch of pixels together, each one with a different color. On the other hand, photos and drawings with several different colors and effects are way easier to draw by using pixels, since each pixel can be of any color you want. Alright, so how does that apply to reproduction covers, labels and manuals and so on? Well. When making those kinds of materials, the people in charge of the job probably did the whole thing using vector programs. You can insert a bitmap file into a vector image, like an artwork for the background of the box, even though it will still suffer from the issues for being a bitmap file. But then the logos, any borders, text, any extra image with solid colors are probably all vector images, and the result will be a clear and sharp final product. When you scan or photograph a box, even if you use a very high resolution, the whole thing will be converted to pixels, and then it will suffer from the problems of becoming a bitmap file. Manuals and labels are exactly the same thing, 
all the text in the manuals were probably in text format in the original file and unless you have that file you won't be able to reproduce it properly. Now, I said reproduction covers, labels and manuals would never work, but that might not be entirely true. Let's say you can find the original illustration that was used in a box, in a very high quality. Let's say you can also find the exact same font type they used. Then all you need to do is vectorize everything else, recreate the logos, the text, every element in vector format, then yeah, I suppose you can make it work. That information is also useful for spotting bootleg or fake cartridges, boxes and everything else. If you look closely and the text and logos and things that are solid colors are not sharp enough and in a nice quality, then it's probably a reproduction. Instead, you could try making your own boxes, so they don't have to look like the original ones. And I've heard you can find some sexy templates out there. Hey, if you made it this far, sorry for making such a boring video. I know the subject is not the most exciting one, but it's actually some useful information. I hope it can be of some use to you in the future. And hey, thanks for watching.